All right, so I didn't have a video plan for today, but this is something where I have to stop everything I'm doing and I have to talk about it right away. Because Blackmagic just released a camera where I think I'm just gonna sell my Red Komodo X because this is absolutely fire. Blackmagic released the 6K Pixis cinema camera that's going to be shown off at NAB, which I'm here right now and I drive tomorrow. Essentially, this was the camera that we wanted when the 6K full frame came out not that long ago. You're still gonna get your 6K open gate with the anamorphic support. You're still gonna be able to use two CF Express type B cards. You have SDI out and you have the mini XLR to XLR and everything from a functional standpoint that you had on the full frame 6K. Now, one of the big problems with the full frame 6K that a lot of people had an issue with was its form factor. It was still that kind of football shape from some of the pockets. The Pixis actually gives you that box or at least a rectangle type of design, making it a viable option for things like handheld and gimbal work, or if you just wanna put it on sticks and have a bunch of accessories. This camera is riddled with a bunch of mounting points. It's gonna make it very easy for a lot of people to set this guy up and customize it. But the internals are still gonna be very much the same as something like the full frame 6K. The dual base ISO is still gonna be an 800 and 3200. Now I'm editing this video right now and there's a couple things I might've missed out on. And number one is the fact that you can use DaVinci Resolve Cloud while using the Pixis. So if you're someone that's in live broadcast or someone like me, where I might have an external editor for a project, I can start to send proxies to DaVinci Resolve Cloud and actually get things edited on site a lot easier. On top of all of those things, some people might have complaints about some of the frame rates. They're kind of the same frame rates as the Blackmagic 6K full frame, where you have 36 frames a second at open gate 6K, and you still have 60 frames a second if you're gonna go down to DCI. Those are two things that I use quite a bit. I don't really shoot 120 frames a second, much less if you do wanna go into a smaller resolution, you could crop in on the sensor. It might not look the best at 120 frames a second while you super crop in. However, for the most part, I shoot 60 frames a second and I have no problem with that at 6K. And for the most part, I don't think a lot of people do either. You're still going to have Blackmagic RAW and I'm pretty sure once you get it, you're gonna get those DaVinci Resolve keys that you can use in order to use that studio version. You're also going to be able to get three different variations of this camera. You can get an EF mount, an L mount, and a PL mount as well. Now on the website, it does say there's autofocus available for certain lenses, which might imply that you might be able to use EF autofocus, but we'll just find out when the camera finally ships and gets released this summer. It's gonna be more of a rectangle shape and something that we've been asking for for quite a while. It's actually kind of shaped like the Komodo X, and when I go to NAB, I'll be able to tell you exactly what the sizing is going to be. You're still gonna get that four inch high resolution screen from the full frame version of this guy, but it is going to be mounted on the side. Now, some people might complain about that, but honestly, on the sides of a lot of cinema cameras like the Venice, there's already going to be a screen there that's not removable. And you're also gonna get all of your custom buttons as well for different settings that you might have. You're gonna be able to use things like your false color and your peaking and all the other cinema features in this camera, but at the same time, you don't have that form factor that people just didn't like from the Blackmagic full frame 6K. But overall, wrapping this all up into a bow is that we're getting the camera that we wanted from the full frame 6K at $3,000 or 3,200 bucks if you get the PL version. That for me is absolutely mind blowing. I mean, there's gonna be different things you're gonna find out when I get the camera hands on, but when I compare that to my Red Komodo X, which is three times as much, that Blackmagic Pixis gets like almost 85% of the way there, excluding the fact that it doesn't have global shutter, which is something that I'm willing to live with because it's $3,000. You're gonna hear me say that a lot because this camera also doesn't have things like built-in ND. I'm getting rid of my Komodo X. I love that camera and it's one of my favorites, but what I really wanted was a camera that was had high resolution, worked well on sticks, and was customizable for the things that I wanted. The Blackmagic 6K Pixis does that, and it does it for a third of the price. I think this is gonna be a new jump off point for a lot of people and a lot of filmmakers jumping into the scene that don't wanna spend five, six, seven thousand dollars for their camera rig. Blackmagic is tired of the slander of you guys making fun of their cameras, and they released the Pixis as a way of saying they're not going anywhere. I'm so amped up about this release that Terry over here is actually getting some screen recording so I can show you guys what it looks like. Go and check out his channel as well so you can see his take on it too. But I think this is a camera that we've been waiting for from Blackmagic for a really long time. You're gonna get all the things like B-Raw, you're gonna get all the shooting modes, open gate, 6K, and a box. I don't mean to cut you off. This camera <laughs> looks wild, bro. Yo. Crazy for Yo. $3,000. Yo, I had to bring the whole crew $3,000, and by the way, we're gonna be at NAB, so make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn on notifications, so you guys don't miss out on the future content. This guy's killing it. I also might be testing it before it releases because we're gonna go and see if we can go and steal one at NAB. But that being said, there's a whole lot of things to talk about. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces. That being said, if you guys wanna see more because I actually might get my hands on a version of that camera before it comes out, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.